Hi and welcome back to this series on how to use Chronometer. So today I'm going to walk you through how to add foods to Chronometer. Now Chronometer does a really good job at um, providing data for all food types but sometimes depending upon where you live or what region you're from you may not necessarily find the type of food that you're buying in Chronometer. Um, so you know for those people that are eating canned foods that are produced locally um, you're not going to you may most probably not going to find it in Chronometer. Um, so you're going to need to add your own custom types. So a lot of people will sort of try and find something that's similar to it in Chronometer, but the thing is, the beautiful thing about Chronometer is that most of these things can be added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, show you how to, I'm going to add some Facilium husks, and as long as you've got some, as long as the packet has the dietary information or the nutritional information on the, um, on the packet, uh, we can enter that information in. If, if the food that you're buying doesn't have the nutritional information then go on the website for that particular um, product and see if there's nutritional information available for it. Um, it's really useful knowing this. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're going to add the 100 um, gram um, servings size uh, to a chronometer. So I'll show you how to do that. But you could use it for um, um, anything like that or like if you're using a B12 supplement or, or a D or, or a D supplement or something like that um, and uh, it's a vegan type one and you want to add that then that's all good. good. Okay so <clears throat> so what I've done is I have um, taken a photograph of the back of the pack there it is there. Okay so as I said before we're going to use the 100 gram um, uh, serving size or the, uh, okay and uh, and so we're going to enter in the the amounts for the energy the protein and whatever is here and any other vitamins and minerals that might be in that product as well. So um, in this case, um, the energy is, we're not going to, uh, chronometer doesn't do kilojoules, it only does calories uh, from what I can see. So um, we're going to be entering the calorie information and the protein is uh, 3.5, the fat is 1.4, saturated 1.3, uh, um, the carbohydrates is less than 1 gram, sugar is less than 1 gram, dietary fiber 86.8 and the sodium is 62 milligrams. So the way it's entered into um, chronometer is exactly the same for the standard uh, membership as it is for the gold membership. So I won't be showing you how it's done in the gold membership because it's exactly the same as the standard membership. So here we go. So what we need to do, <coughs> we need to add this food. So we go into the, I click on the foods tab. Okay. And here we are in the foods tab. So what we're going to do is create a new food, and uh, and it's now displaying. So what we're going to do is we're going to we need to put into a group. So in this particular instance, it's a it's a grain of sorts, uh, and I think that's where we will put it. It's the husks of a grain, and that's much very reasonable place to put it. Now this is just um, for grouping, just for easy finding and things like that. So we're going to um, add the uh, food. So it's going to be um, PSY. Okay, pardon my typing. <clears throat> okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to set this here, the serving size, to 100 grams. And you'll see why we do that, okay, because we are going to enter it into 100 grams. But when you're actually eating this and you're putting it into your foods, you might use 1 gram or you might use 3 grams, okay. But we need to start off when we set the values, initial values, at what is on the packet. So if the packet says 100 gram serving size, so we use that 100 gram serving size. And I'll show you how this works a little later on. So let's go. So the energy is. 193 uh, calories, so we type in 193, 193 calories, and we can either press enter or if we can click on the next item that we want to do and we'll do exactly the same thing. Okay, so if we go um, protein is um, 3.5, um, what is it, uh, so what are we doing, um, protein is 3.5, so we go down here, protein, okay, 3.5, Okay, the uh, fat is total fat is um, 1.4. The saturated fat is saturated fat. There it is. There, saturated fat is um, 0.3. Nope. 0.3. Um, the carbohydrates um, carbs are uh, 0.1 less than because um, and it'll come up as less than one gram. The sugars are again 0.1 that's right 0.1 okay the fiber is um, the fiber is uh, 80, 86 point Eight <coughs> and the sodium is 
um, 62. Okay, so let's see, we've got um, 193 um, carbs, are 1%, less than 1. Um, fiber is 86.8. Sugar, okay, fat. 1.4 okay everything's good we can change these later on as well makes no difference if we get it wrong the first time around and that's basically it we've now added the food it gives us what the nutritional information is here it's giving us a nice summary of it the calorie breakdown down here so it's all looking good so now what we do is we just save the changes oh no we won't save changes just yet now what I want to show you is um, this serving size what we before we save it what we want to do is we want to change it from um, 100 grams to 1 gram and you'll notice that when I change the the, the, the serving size it changes all the, the values for everything else so if I say it's 10 grams it's now showing you what um, the, um, the nutritional um, information is for 10 grams so if I take it down to 1 grams and I save that off now when I go to add that food to, to when, I'm, when I'm adding my diary food to my diary I add the number of grams that I've added then it's going to give me accurate information whereas if I just set this at 100 grams it's going to make it a little difficult for me because unless I use 100 grams every time um, then I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble okay so we just set it at grams we save that off and there it is there we now have a custom food okay raw food okay um, so um, in, in our your foods we have the psyllium husks so when we go to enter that into the diary we go okay we want to add a food and we say and there it is there okay uh, and um, and and you'll notice there that um, we did we have husk powder we have husks raw okay and uh, but this is our particular husks okay so therefore it's a slightly different nutritional value um, and we, we sort of say that what we want to do is we want to do it in grams and we can sort of say oh, let's say we added um, 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 15 grams to our smoothie Okay, and so therefore it's going to give us the information for 15 grams of psyllium husks to our smoothie. So it's as simple as that. So um, if you are um, uh, struggling to find the food types or the food um, products in Chronometer um, that you're buying locally, then add your own custom types to Chronometer and it'll make your life a lot easier. And don't forget also those custom types, those custom foods that you enter can also be used in your recipes. So in the recipes that you make, you can also use those custom foods. So that's it. That's it for me, and I'll catch up in the next video. Take care. Bye.